Let's look at how to take control of where pages begin and end when printing. This is going to be done using custom page breaks. It's always a good idea to do a print preview on your data before printing, so you can make sure there aren't going to be any issues with the way this data is rendered when it goes to the printer. So I'll go up to File, Print, and I can see that the data looks fairly decent. It's just that the three tables that I have here, the sales, the tax collected, and the totals, I want those three tables to be on three separate sheets. But Excel, seeing how there's room on the page to put data, it's gonna keep going. So I'd like to split the data just above the tax collected title and just above the totals title. If we go to view and put ourselves in the page break preview, we see this large blue border that tells us the area that's going to be printed. If we zoom in, we can even see watermarks that indicate where page one falls and where page two falls. And if you notice this dotted blue line, this indicates an automatic page break. So we ran out of room just after February, we started page two and continued with March. But what I would like is to have the data stop directly after the daily total of the sales table. Now, since we already have a page break in place, automatic as it is, we can click and hold on this dotted line and drag up and down and reposition this. So I'm going to drag up and put it just after the daily total and before my tax collected title. So now you can see page one is my sales and the tax collected and the totals are on page two. The line is also a solid line indicating that this is a manual page break where the user has placed this here as opposed to the system. Now I would like another page break after the daily totals of the tax collected table and just before the totals table. To do this, I'm going to go to the far left cell or column A of my totals title. I'm going to right click and choose insert page break. You can see how there's now a dark blue line separating the tax collected table from the totals table. And now we have pages one, two, and three. If you need to remove a page break, go back to the same cell that it was created, right click and choose remove page break. When you insert a page break through this right click insert page break method, you're actually inserting two page breaks. When we were in column A and did a right click insert page break, it's easy to see the one that was inserted above our cursor position but there's also a page break that was inserted to the left of our cursor position. I'm gonna hit undo. To see this, if I click in the middle of the row and do a right click insert page break, it's much more obvious that there was a page break inserted to the left of the cursor position. And as you can see, now we have pages two, three, five, six, probably not the look you were going for. Now you could grab this vertical page break and just drag it as far to the left as you can and reposition it, undo. You could right click, remove the page break, and then just put your cursor where it should have been to produce this effect and say right click insert page break. So if it does end up in the middle of your data, not a big deal, just grab it and move it to where you need it to be. Now we'll go up to file, print, and we can see that our sales are on page one, our tax collected is on page two, and our totals are on page three. Thanks for watching, and remember, at BCTI, the learning never stops.